Okay, welcome to this video. We're going to solve a problem involving efficiency, nuclear power, uranium, energy, mass. Take a moment to read the question and list the givens. There are five givens. Check to see if you got them all. Uranium-235, that's the mass of one nucleus. The unit here is atomic mass units, U. 21 megawatts, that's the output power. And that means it's the electrical power generated. Efficiency, that's the third given. Here it is, eta. And this energy released in one fission, that's the energy put in by one reaction, let's say. Notice it's not the output, because output is electricity. And then what's the last given? Determine the mass used per year. There it is. Time is given. Okay, I want to make up some numbers to illustrate the, uh, the method we use for this problem. Some simple numbers. All right, here's one nucleus. It gives off three joules of energy when it fissions. What's its mass? Two U. These are obviously wrong values. I'm just making up some, some numbers. And then over here, here's the mass that we use in a, one entire year. Here's the entire year's worth. And how much does it give off? It gives off a total of, let's say, it gives off a total of 24 joules. And we have to find the mass of the whole thing. Well, wait a second. 24 joules. How many nuclei are inside of here? If each nucleus gives off three, then you've got three here, three here, three coming off here, three here. There are eight nuclei, right? Three joules comes out eight different times to give a total of 24. So we now know how many nuclei there are. There are eight. And where did we get that value? We took the total energy for one year, and we divided by the energy from a single fission. Now that I know the number of nuclei, I can multiply by the mass. Each has got a mass, each of those eight has a mass of 2u, and I can get the mass for one year. It's 16u. That's the method we're using, except there are some complexities here. We've got to convert uh, the power that's given out to a power in. We also have to convert, uh, and the efficiency allows us to do that. Finally, we have to convert the power to energy. Okay, that's our method. So to answer this question, we will need to know the number of nuclei, the total value that we use over the entire year. How do we find it? We say the total energy that the fuel puts in is equal to the number that fission times the energy per, per fission. So how much energy does one nucleus put in? Okay, so this is our unknown. And once we find it, we just multiply by how much mass each nucleus has, and then we get the total mass for one year. So we know this is our unknown, and we know this. This is given. It's 3.4 times 10 to the minus 11. So now we just have to find the total energy which the fuel puts into the power plant for one year. Now notice, this is the input energy because it's the fuel. It's not the output energy. We're not talking about the electricity or the electrical energy that we get out of the power plant. Okay, so how do I find this value? Well, I've got energy, I've got time. Let me write down the power equation. Power that we put in is equal to the energy that the fuel puts in over the time. So if I want to find, now the power, this is a fixed rate. It's how much, how quickly we put in the energy, how quickly the fuel puts in the energy. So if I want the total energy, I just need to plug in the total time, which is one year. So the total energy, that's e tot. And for time, we're going to put in one year. 
Now we're going to have to convert that to seconds. Why? Because the power is going to be in watts, which is joules per second. Okay, but I'm not ready. I can't just plug in 21 megawatts for this input power. Why? Because that's the electricity. It's not what the fuel puts in. It's the output, 21 is. We don't know what the input is just yet. So how do I find it? I can first use the efficiency equation. Efficiency is the output over the input. And I know what the output is. That's 21 times 10 to the 6. I know what this is. So I can find the input power. I plug it in. Now that I have this in one year, got to convert that to seconds. Then you can find the total input energy that the fuel puts in for one year. And then you plug that in right here. Along with this value, you find the total number of fissions that occur in one year. And lastly, if you want the total mass, you just take the mass of one nucleus times the number of nuclei that we use in one year. So the number for one year, which we could call, whoa, and we could call that instead the total number of nuclei that we use for the interval of one year. And this is the final equation that gives us the unknown. Now, number nine, here's a very similar question, but there are some differences. Um, here they say, we're given this output power, the maximum output power, so that's P out. Um, and we're given the mass of one uranium, the mass of one. We're asked to find the mass which achieves the same annual energy output. So even though, we're, even though the word minimum is here, they're asking for the total mass for one year. So we need M tot, that's the unknown. And uh, what else do we know? Well, we don't know the energy released per fission, or per nucleus. Instead, they've given us the energy density. I'm sorry, pardon me, the specific energy. This is the specific energy, um, and there's an equation that says it equals energy over mass. This is, of course, input, because we're talking about the fuel, not electricity. But it's unclear if this M here is the total or the M for one single fission. Well, it depends on what we plug in right here. Are we plugging in the energy for one or are we plugging in the energy for the entire year? So sometimes the best way to proceed is just to look at what you're able to calculate, right? I've got the output power. They say find the minimum mass, but they haven't given me an efficiency. Here's what they want us to assume. If they don't give the efficiency, and they say find the minimum, that means assume none of the mass is wasted. Assume all of it gets used up. That's how you find the minimum. In other words, assume that the efficiency is 100%. So how do we proceed? Well, we've got power out, which is now equal to the power in. We know the time interval is one year, so OK. We could find the total input energy. If we plug in the total time of one year and plug in the total, uh, put, plug in the input power, given this and this, we can calculate this. So if you plug that in right here, we can also plug in the specific energy, we know that, we can calculate mass. But what is it that we're calculating exactly? Are we calculating the mass for one fission or are we calculating the mass for the entire year? The answer is we're getting the total mass for one year because right here we plug in the total energy. So this is a much simpler problem.